What's going on YouTube? In today's video, I'm giving you my full build guide to one of my personal favorite rifles in all of Fault 76. We have my ultimate combat rifle guide. Now to use this build, you are going to need a few things, such as a crit per card to make up your build of course, a nice combat rifle to vanquish your enemies, and some armor to protect yourself against coming threats. For this video, I have two different style builds to demonstrate for you. We have my in-game bloody commando build, and we have my in-game full health commando build. Starting off over in the weapon, this is it. This is my three-star legendary combat rifle that we're using for the video, and the main legendary effect is the quad effect, which is quadruple ammo capacity, has the 25% faster fire rate, and it has a 15% faster reload. This combat rifle is absolutely god tier. And the mods that we're using is the Prime Automatic Receiver, True Long Barrel, Forceful Stock, Perforating Magazine, Reflex Sight, Dot Suppressor, and the Dark Matter Paint, because this paint is my absolute favorite paint in all the paints in all of Fallout 76. Over in the builds, these are my base stats that make up both my in-game commando builds that we're using for the video, so if you want to use the exact builds I'm using, this is the start. These are the base stats with the legendary perk cards equipped. Over the normal perk cards, these are the normal perk cards that make up my in-game Blade Commando build that we're using for the video. Starting off in strength, we have three, and this is gonna have blocker maxed out. Take 45% less damage from your opponent's melee attacks. Over in perception, we have 15, and this is gonna have all the commando cards maxed out to get the maximum amount of damage out of this build. We have tank killer maxed out. Your rifles and pistols ignore 36% armor and have a 9% chance to stagger. We have concentrated fire maxed out. Vets targets limbs, focus fire to gain high accuracy and damage per shot. Over in endurance, we have six, and this is gonna have Ken Fiend at two stars. Any Kims you take lasts 60% longer. We have fireproof maxed out. Take 45% less damage from explosions and flame attacks. We have radical maxed maxed out. The greater the rads, the greater the strength. A max plus 5 to strength. Over in Charisma, we have 9, and this we can have Lone Wonder maxed out. When adventuring alone, take 20% less damage and gain 30% AP regen. We have Field Surger maxed out. Stim Packs and Radway will now work much more quickly. We have Tenderizer maxed out. Make your target receive 10% more damage for 10 seconds after you attack. Over in Intelligence, we have 3, and this we can have Nerd Rage maxed out. While below 20% health, gain 40 damage resist, 20% of damage, and 15% AP regen. Over in Agility, we have 15, and this we can have Action Boy maxed out. Action Points will generate 45% faster. We have Cover Operative maxed out. Your ranged sneak attacks do an additional 50% sneak attack damage. We have Escape Artist maxed out. Sneak to lose enemies and running no longer affects stealth. We have Adrenaline maxed out. Gain a plus 10% to max 60% of damage for 30 seconds per kill. Duration refresh with kills. We have Gun Fu maxed out. That swaps targets on kill with a 10% to 20% and then 30% of damage to your next 3 targets. Over in Luck we have 15 and this we can have Bloody Mess maxed out. 15% of bonus damage means enemies may explode in a glory rate pace. We have Grim Reaper Sprint at 1 star. Any kill in Vats has a 15% chance to restore all action points. We have better criticals maxed out. Vats criticals now do plus 100% in damage. We have starch genes maxed out. You'll never mutate from rads, and right away will never cure your mutations. We have critical savvy maxed out. Critical hits now only consume 55% of your critical meter. We have serendipity at 1 star. While below 30% health, gain a 15% chance to avoid damage, no power armor. And we have 4 leaf clover at 2 stars. Each hit in Vats has a better chance to fill your critical meter. These are all the normal perk cards to make up my bloodied commando build. Now let's get into my full health commando build. Over in the full health commando build, these are all the normal perk cards to make up our in game build that we're using for the video. Starting off in strength, we have three, and this we can have traveling pharmacy maxed out. I personally do have a ton of Kim Zombie, so this card is necessary for me to run around. Over in perception, we have 15, and this we can have all the commando cards maxed out to get the max amount of damage out of this build. We have tank killer maxed out. Your rifles and pistols ignore 36% armor and have a 9% chance to stagger. We have concentrated fire maxed out. Bats target limbs, focus fire to gain high accuracy and damage per shot. Over in endurance, we have six, and this we can have fireproof maxed out. Take 45% to less damage from explosions and flame attacks. We have Ken Fiend maxed out. Any Kim's you take lasts 100% longer. Over in charisma, we have nine, and this we can have lone one maxed out. When adventuring alone, take 20% less damage and gain 30% AP region. We have Field Surger maxed out. Stim Packs and Radway will now work much more quickly. We have Tenderizer maxed out. Make your target receive 10% more damage for 10 seconds after you attack. Over in Intelligence, we have 3, and this we can have First Aid maxed out. Stim Packs restore 45% more lost health. Over in Agility, we have 15, and this we can have Action Boy maxed out. Action Points regenerate 45% faster. We have Cover Operative maxed out. Your ranged sneak attacks do an additional 50% sneak attack damage. We have Escape Artist maxed out. Sneak to lose enemies and running no longer affects still. We have Adrenaline maxed out, gain a plus 10% to max 60% of damage for 30 seconds per kill, duration refreshes with kills. We have Sneak maxed out, you are 75% harder to detect while sneaking. Over in luck we have 15 and this is gonna have Bloody Mess maxed out. 15% bonus damage means enemies may explode in a glory red pace. We have Grim Reaper Sprint at 1 star, any kill in Vats has a 50% chance to restore all action points. We have Better Criticals maxed out, Vats Criticals now do plus 100% to damage. We have Starch Genes maxed out, you'll never mutate from rads and right away will never cure your mutations. We have Critical Savvy maxed out, Critical Hits now only consume 55% of your critical meter. And we have four leaf clover maxed out. Each hit in vats has an excellent chance to fill your critical meter. But these are all the normal perk cards to make up both my in-game commando builds that we're using for the video. Now let's get into the legendary perk cards. Over in the legendary perk cards, these are all the legendary perk cards that help make up both my in-game commando builds. Starting off with intelligence, we have that at two stars. We have endurance maxed out, strength at one star, luck at two stars, far flung fireworks at two stars, and follow through maxed out. These are all the legendary perk cards. Now let's get into my armor and my mutations. Over the armor, starting off with our in-game bloodied commando build, what we're using is a full 
full set of unyielding gear, which gives us a gain out of plus 3 to all stats except endurance when low health, and that is absolutely fantastic for bloody builds. Over in the full health build, what we're using is a full set of Vanguard's gear, which gives us a grant set of plus 35 to energy resistance and damage resistance to higher health, which is amazing, but you can also use overeaters if you do not have Vanguard's. Over the mutations, these are all the mutations that we're using for the builds. We have Adrenaline Reaction, Bird Bones, Eagle Eyes, Egghead, Healing Factor, Marsupial, Sky Skin, and Speed Demon. This is it though, these are my complete loadouts that we're using for the video, and now let's get to some demonstrations. Starting off our demonstrations with our in-game Bloody Commando build, we've made our way over to the West Tech Research Center because there is a ton of super mutants over here that need to be vanquished, starting with this guy. And just like that, he could not withstand the power of the combat rifle. What about you, brother? Would you like to withstand the power of the combat rifle? Let me just see a couple of taps to the face, and apparently not. What was that, 735? Not bad at all. What about outside of that? We'll give him a couple taps outside of that. What's, what's going on with that meat back there? That is at least a 20 pound meat back there flying around in the wind like that. That is really crazy. I'm not going to lie. But anyways, anyways, back to shooting. Okay, not in vats, not in vats, face shots. And just like that, he took those shots to the face like a champ. Oh God, that's about to explode. Be extremely careful. Now we got ourselves a floater. Goodbye floater. Holy crap. The amazing thing about quads is it's like you never have to reload. It's just fantastic. Oh, super means. Would you like to take a couple shots to the knee? Of course you would, sir. There we go. Oh my God. Now, if you could get a fixer version of this, it'd be way better. But the combat rifle is absolutely destroying these guys. Look at that damage. Holy crap. All right, boys. We got to do one in vats and one outside of vats. We're going to take you outside of vats. There we go. Just a couple more shots. There we go. Not bad. Super fast. But this is going to be way faster. And just like that, we have no more disgusting super mutants. Now, we've made our way back to West Tech, but with our full health commando build. And here is our first target. There we go. Almost the same amount of damage. Not bad. A little bit less, but still not bad at all. Look at that. Holy crap. A 657. That's only 100 less than our max of last time. Oh, super mutants. Do we have any? Oh, we've got ourselves a floater. Let's lock onto his eyes because I think that's where we get the most amount of damage because I don't know what else monster has eyes that we can lock onto. Now let's just uh, obliterate him. Oh, you poor, poor floater. You look this. Oh my god. A suppressor. Short Western revolver. I will trade only legacies. If you have a legacy, spit it at me. Maybe I'll trade. Maybe not. I don't know. I'm a little bit iffy. This is really rare. So who knows? Who knows? Let me just pick that thing up now. Anyways, you stupid super mutant warlord. You think you could stand the power of the full health commander build? Huh? 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 Punk? Huh? Punk? No. No, he can't at all. What about you, sir? You and your meat back there flying. Look at it. It's still flying in the wind. But Bethesda, that is at least 20 to 30 pound meat flying in the wind like that. It cannot happen. That's just not realistic. We've got ourselves a hound. He's trying to get this meat over here. Let me just blow him up. There we go. We got a couple shots into the hound. Okay. Can't find me. There we go. We're going to finish him off with the headshots. Oh my god. Who shot at me? Oh, oh my god. We got another super. Goodbye, sir. The next wasteland monstrosity on our list to help us test out this weapon and these builds is the level 100 a legendary glowing behemoth that goes by the name Lenny. We're going to give him a couple love taps and then we're just going to unload this gun on his face to show you the true power of the quad combat rifle. All right, we got to make sure I'm sneaked and everything because that'd be ridiculous if I wasn't. And now we just unload the clip on his face. There we go. Hopefully he won't be able to heal himself. No, 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 no. Oh, he did it. He healed himself. That's okay. We're just going to continue to vanquish you. Goodbye, you stupid behemoth. Now we've made our way back to Kenny, the level 100 glowing behemoth with this time he is not a legendary so again we're gonna give him a couple shots wake him up and then i'm going to show you the full power of the combat rifle to his face all right here we go let's just uh liberate him look at that damage and just like that this stupid behemoth could not withstand the power of the combat rifle of course if you enjoy fall content like this and you want to see more i also made a video for my personal favorite in-game gunslinger build so if you want to check it out i'll link it in the screen right now you see that that is my op gunslinger build